Tonight, your health matters. Tearing eyes. We need tears, of course, to keep our eyes lubricated and to wash away any dirt and foreign substances in and around the eyes. But too much tearing is not good, and it can cause extreme discomfort for patients. And that includes anyone from babies all the way to senior citizens. It's known as epiphora, the medical term for excessive tearing. And when that happens, this is what it can look like. Anything from red, crusty eyes to severe redness and swelling. It can all signify a blocked duct. Most people come in very annoyed, boxes of tissues, bags of drops they've tried. Dr. Jennifer Wee at the Islet Institute in Palm Desert is an ophthalmologist specializing in ocular plastic surgery and says when patients finally come to see her, their symptoms have progressed to a point where they're at their wit's end. It was constantly bothering me and it interfered with my work. It was awful. Both Carol Bayer and Cindy Brown had similar issues, a blockage of the duct. It was just a big bump, and of course it just made my eye look awful. Causing excessive tearing and blurry vision. In cases like these, if not taken care of, they can become super infected. That little duct between the sac and your nose is blocked. The water and the tears and the bacteria that we all secrete gather and become stuck and then it becomes an abscess. When that happens, surgery, says Dr. Wee, is usually the answer. Cindy Brown had her surgery when, after two years, nothing else worked. I made a small incision, I removed the bone, I, I created a detour, I left the tube in, we took the tube out and her tearing is gone. Dr. Wee leaves a tube in the nose for three months to prevent scarring inside the nose. Since the day after, I had no tearing to this day, and that was back in December. It's been a, just a tremendous relief. I haven't had one day from the moment she did the surgery to now. Now, surgery may not be the answer for everyone. That's why it's very important to see an eye doctor for a thorough exam. Now, sometimes, as Dr. Wee told me, certain eye drops may help. And as we just saw, sometimes outpatient surgery does the trick.